Alright, hey, how's it going guys? It's Serge coming at you again with another tech tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm finally going to show you how to put multi-system onto your Verizon Note 3. Long time coming, I know. It's just I've been testing it out. There's a couple of issues that I ran into. I really didn't feel comfortable with it enough to the point that I could share it with you. But now I've worked out all the kinks. I've been testing it. There's been new ROMs coming out for it and everything. So I'm finally able and willing to unveil this to you. So I've made previous videos hinting to what multi-system is all about. I'll link them down below. I'll put a little information button wherever it is. Uh, go check that out. It gives you a little bit of an explanation and the forum down, down below in the description uh, will tell you everything you need to know. But essentially what it's doing, it's going to keep your stock ROM safe. In this case, you should be at Jasmine ROM 5.0 and rooted if you've been following my videos and if you've been patient enough. So that's where you should be right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep that stock system safe by using multi-system. So multi-system kind of works like SafeStrap. It's not exactly like SafeStrap, but it kind of works like it in a way that it has ROM slots. Right now, there's only two. Uh, but really you're only gonna need one so what are the benefits to this one of course keeping your stock system safe and two you can play around more with your phone again before you have to be really really careful because you don't want to mess anything up with your stock system because then you lose your root no fun right so with multi-system you finally get the ability and the chance to play with your system again so another thing we get with this is we finally get the ability to use Expose Installer and use all those modules that you've been wanting to use for the longest time. The developer also adds a whole bunch of other things that are on like the Note 5 and stuff like that. So theming, little features here and there. Again, read the forum post down there. It will give you the whole list and I'll probably show it here on the screen really quickly on all the things that is added into these ROMs. So first things first, let's go ahead and get the phone prepared and ready. Of course, back up anything uh, from when we start this. I'm going to assume that everything you need that is important to you is backed up already and you're ready to do any kind of formatting and any kind of modifications that you might need for this. But really, the only things we're going to be modifying is your SD card. So your SD card, make sure it's all backed up and we can go ahead and get started. All right, so first we want to make sure that we have the right drive letter selected. So in my case, it's G, and I verified that by the size and the letter. So go ahead and verify that your SD card is that. Then go ahead and delete any kind of partition you have on there, and then select it, and then hit Create. Create as primary. Then for the file system, we're going to do FAT32. And then we're going to change the size by dragging here from the right. We're going to set it about 20 and that's gonna be for your SD card. And this is what you're actually gonna have left over, and this 20 gig is gonna be for our SD card. And then go ahead and hit the un unallocated, and then hit create, and just hit yes on that. And then create as primary on this one as well, and then file system is gonna be ext4. All right, and we're just gonna leave the size as is, and this is gonna be enough for two ROMs if we wanted them. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure those are good and then just go ahead and hit apply. All right, so that's actually the most difficult part of this. You wanna make sure that you have those two partitions completely right and then from there we can go over to our phone. Uh, we're gonna install a couple of apps on our phone so let's go ahead and get that going. All right, so here are the apps that we're going to be needing ES File Explorer or Root Explorer, whichever explorer that allows you to explore your root file system. So just use ES File Explorer to play it safe. Uh, you're also going to need BusyBox free. You're also going to need Terminal Emulator and Multi System. So ES File Explorer, BusyBox, and Terminal Emulator can all be downloaded from the Play Store. So go ahead and download those now if you don't have them on your phone and get them ready. All right, and for multi-system, you can simply download that from the forum post here and go ahead and just download the APK and it should be in your downloads folder. 
just go ahead and go in there and install it in your downloads folder and you're good to go alright so now you should be back on this page ignore flash fire for now that will be for a future video uh, but you should have ES file explorer terminal emulator busybox and multi-system and that will get multi-system ready to go okay so now we open up multi-system for the first time and we're gonna scroll down a little bit and right after potential damage let me scroll up again uh, you'll see install right here so go ahead and just hit install underneath install multi-system and you'll get super user requests so go ahead and grant that and you'll see that it will begin installing multi-system so what you want to do now is just leave it here for a couple minutes two or three minutes just go ahead and leave it alone so it installs what it needs to install and then come back to it here in a minute all right now that you let it sit there for a little while we're gonna go ahead and scroll down a little bit more and right here under update we're gonna hit this update configurations button and that's just gonna make sure that the file system is all up to date and any changes you made are applied okay and now we want to hit the configuration at the top right and make sure that run on boot is on alright guys so we are at the home stretch so we have multi-system installed we have it configured and updated so all we have to do now is restart the phone so all those things are a hundred percent applied and this is where I ran into issues before is you would do all this but it wouldn't show up in your file system for some reason so the best way to fix this is just restart your phone after all this is done so go ahead and restart it and then we'll get right back to it alright so here we are we're gonna go ahead and open up ES file explorer and then from within here we're going to navigate to our root so that's gonna be the forward slash so go ahead and go to root and then look for your multi-system folder it's gonna be down here at the bottom and then we're gonna go ahead and select that then you should see all these files in here if you see them you're good okay next let's go ahead and go to terminal emulator and if you've never used it before and you type in the su go ahead and grant it uh, next thing we're gonna type is multi-system and that's gonna be with a capital M and then a capital S so multi capital system capital all right and then if you get this information you're good next I'm gonna do multi-system same way we spelled it with the capitals and then status status is all lowercase and then you should get all this information as well all right and that will verify that your multi-system is completely installed properly and you're ready to move on to the next thing which is installing ROMs all right so that is it finally hopefully you caught on through that i feel i explained it a little bit better than the other videos here on youtube uh again i'm very responsive in the comments leave me comments below if you have any question whatsoever but that's it guys you have multi-system on your phone and the next series of videos are gonna show you how to add roms and that's that's where it gets really exciting so uh stay tuned for those videos they're coming out soon Alright, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, look out for those other videos. Subscribe to my channel to get those as soon as they come out. And also, I'm going to give some credit where credit is due. I'm going to give credit to Gutless LX for all the music provided in these videos. If you haven't done that already, go ahead and check out his SoundCloud and Twitter. All the links will be down below. Alright, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video.